Hey, what's going on, Chris? Thanks for popping in here. Oof, that's a lot of noise. Let's see. I'm getting a telephone call here. Hello. Hello. Hi. Let me know that I'll be leaving the way while I'm just waiting for the fire alarm. Okay. Adios. Adios. What's going on, Gino? What's up, Michael? What's going on with you guys? As you can see, I'm just in here doing a little HF work tonight. Seeing what's going on in the bands. I'm getting a lot of interference from my LED light in here. No question. Let's try. Let's see what 20 meters looks like. Alright, here we go. Not quite as bad of interference. Alright, uh. Why did the CRRG net get heated? What happened? I didn't hear about that. Right, let's go here. Let's do a little tune up here. 20 meter sounds dead by now, but we'll give it a shot. You never know. Weird things have happened. Uh, Gino, I'm just running a 60 foot uh, end fed wire. Nothing special, about 30 feet off the ground, so. Nothing crazy, but if you want to jump on any band, let me know. Give it a shot. Uh, CQ, CQ, uh, CQ 20 meters, calling CQ, calling CQ, calling CQ, CQ, CQ 20 meters, CQ 20 meters. Uh, this is Kilo Zero, a Lima Whiskey Charlie Stroke Alpha Golf, calling CQ 20 and standing by. Twenty meters sounds pretty rough. All right, that's awesome, Ken. Uh, that you got your uh, tech license. Congratulations. And yeah, DMR is a lot of fun. Eight seventy eight's a great radio. Uh, you're really gonna like it. I right, gotta jump down to. Let's just make sure I'm not crazy here. I'm up on seventeen. Alright, down to 40. Down to 40. Yeah, so if any of you want to jump on and see if we can get you in the logbook, go ahead and hop in here and let me know a frequency that we can try. Yeah, this light is nasty. Not really a surprise. Everyone know what that sound means, right? The most hated thing in ham radio. <laughs> nice, Ken. I'm glad I was able to help you out in terms of figuring out uh, an option for you to buy. I said I love my 878. Uh, in fact, it's not sitting here right now because it's actually sitting in my car prepared for a road trip I have to take for work tomorrow. So it's currently set up in the mobile, but uh, yeah, I love my 878. Oh, Gino, yeah, the 7300, you're going to like that as much. Obviously, that's what I got right here is the 7300, and uh, there's not a doubt in my mind, this is the best bang-for-your-buck radio for HF that you can buy, period. No no question. I mean, this is an amazing radio for a thousand bucks. Amazing. I mean, this is a radio that performs more like a $3,000 HF rig than a $1,000. I mean, that's what I truly believe. Comparing it to the other HF radios from, you know, say five, six, seven years ago. Some CW going on here on 40. Trying to get that back here. Uh, no, he 
needs to fade. Here we go. That's good, Ken. Uh, yeah, 7300 is going to be good stuff. Uh, and the general ticket, yeah, I said I just got my general ticket. In fact, let me, let me get you my book. Hold on. Uh, let me see if I can find it for you here. Uh, it's over here. Hold on. So here's a little sneak peek at something you may see in a future video. This is actually my, uh, turn this down. This is actually my uh, QSL card book that I just put together so I can start actually tracking and, and saving my QSL cards. Here you can see the first page. So I'm pretty jazzed about this, but right in the very front is something that uh, you'll appreciate, Ken. This is the uh, CSCE, which could be one of the uh, questions you get. Oh, that was blown out of focus. It's too bright, my bad. Uh, but yeah, so this is actually the uh, CSCE, Certificate of Successful Completion of Examination. Uh, so again, it may be too bright, but uh, there is my general ticket in all its paper form. Um, so I just got this on Saturday, finally got it out of the way, really excited to have my general and, uh, and to really start focusing now on the extra from here on out. But yeah, so I just passed my general exam. Yeah, it's still too bright. Sorry about that. It's super bright with that light right there. Uh, Gino, you cannot do two meters with the 7300, so it'll only do six meters in HF, which means basically 50 megahertz um, and lower. So from 50 megs down, you know, like 10 meters at 28 megahertz, uh, 20 meters is 14 megahertz, 40 meters is 7 megahertz, so it'll only do 50 megahertz and lower. Um, so it's just HF plus six meters. It will not do two and it'll not do 70 centimeters. But um, Icon's actually coming out with a brand new rig. Let me check the name of it. Um, what is it, the 9600, I think? I gotta reset my keyboard here too, since I was on 20. I wanna make sure I get you the right model. But Icon just announced this new radio. I'm gonna get one too. I think they look amazing. It is the ICOM 9700. So the ICOM 9700 looks identical to the 73, but guess what? All it is is a uh, 70 centimeter, a 2 meter, and a 23 centimeter. I don't do anything with 23 centimeters, but uh, it is a full scale, full tilt, awesome VHF, UHF version of the 7300. It's not cheap, that's for sure. It's more costly than the uh, 7300, but if you're really into um, two meters and 70 centimeters, especially if you wanted to get a two meter sideband uh, where you gotta have a horizontally um, oriented antenna, the uh, ICOM 9700 is gonna be a killer, killer two meter 70 centimeter ring. What's up to Dan? What's going on, man? Uh, I am on DMR. I was lurking on the way home, so yes. Uh, the 7100 is another great option. Absolutely, a lot of people here in Colorado have the 7100, really like it a lot, so that is another good option. Um, yeah, $2,100, Gino, it's expensive, but it's gonna be a performer. If you're really into weak signal two meter work, uh, if that's the direction you take your, your hobby, it's an awesome, awesome radio. Um, another option to look at, you can find them used if you're looking for an all-mode, all-band kind of rig. The ICOM 706 Mark IIG, or MK2G, was a fantastic radio that packed all of HF, 6 meters, and of course 2 meters and 70 centimeters, all in one radio. Fantastic rig. Another one of that is the ICOM 7000. Both of those radios are out of production. You have to find them used. I've had the 706. It's a great rig. So if you want an all band, all mode rig in one, they do make them. Um, but again, it's, it kind of is the old antenna adage. If you're cramming more stuff into a compact case, you know, you're going to have to cut corners. You're going to have to make things tinier. Um, you're not going to be able to design maybe as well as you could have. So um, it's one of those things where it works pretty darn well across many things, but it's not really great at one specific thing. But so there's some other options for you to look at. Uh, 
pick up a cell phone. This ain't the 80s. Uh, that's good stuff. And uh, what's going on there? Uh, VU2KOC. What's going on, my man? And yes, again, Dan, I'm on DMR tonight. I'm actually, I can see my 868 behind me here. It's not turned on right now, though, I will say that. Um, as I'm listening to what's going on here on 40 meters, this light is killing me in terms of uh, just the noise it's throwing out. That's an LED light that's behind me. So that's the LED light for the shack here that's creating all that noise. So let's watch what happens when I turn the light off. You're going to see that noise go away real fast. Here, watch this little demo. Here's the noise from the LED. Watch this. I'm turning the light off. Oh look, it's quiet. Oh, there it is. That's LED noise for you right there. So if you have a house, watch those LED lights. That's all I can tell you about that. We got quite a few of them here. conditions tonight. The weekend was pretty solid for what it was. Let's scroll down here. Yeah, I would like to see it, Ryan, too. A more portable HF radio. And I said that's what the ICOM 706 Mark II G and the ICOM 7000 were. And they were great radios. Um, again, if you're really looking for a portable uh, radio, I would really look at those. Again, they're used. you got to find one. But they really are good rigs. <laughs> yeah, Gino, that light's pretty nasty. It's it's very noisy. Just, just trying to find one voice signal here. Here's somebody. Kilo, Kilo, Gary, hot coffee, Kilo Fox 1 Papa. Kilo Fox 1 Papa out there. Let's do a little tune here so we can get in and make sure we're getting a good SWR. There we go. Tuned up. jamming them with a tune-up. I don't know what I'm listening to. Yeah, what about the 706 Mark II? Uh, I was just saying, I don't know if you caught it. The 706 Mark II G is a great radio for someone looking for 2 and 70 and all of HF and 6 all packed into one radio that's a good size. The 706 is amazing. I had it for years. It got stolen out of my car here in Denver. I miss that radio. It's a great rig if you can find one. I think I bought mine many years ago for around 800 bucks, 700 bucks. It's a good radio. And Ken, my brother has a new Yezu 818 QRP rig, so it's only six watts. Um, but it does HF2 and 70, works really well. Yeah, I said, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about those 818, Ken. I've heard a lot of good feedback on those radios. All right, I'm gonna try to call CQ here. So if anybody out there has 40 meters, if you're hanging out in the shack, flip it on. I'm going to go ahead and call CQ. Uh, CQ40, CQ40, CQ40. Uh, calling CQ, CQ, CQ40 meters. Calling CQ40, CQ40. This is Kilo Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie Stroke Alpha Golf. Calling CQ40, 
CQ40, CQ40 meters from Kilo Zero, Lima, Whiskey Charlie, Stroke Alpha Golf, QRZ. 182 has a net on it. 182 you are interfering with. Please do not fly. All right, no problem, QSY, K0LWC, stroke AG. All right, so that's a net. He said we were a little close to it. We were about one point, and we were just under two KCs away, but apparently they wanted the full three. And bring it to... All right, we're sitting at 7.224. So if you want to jump on 40 meters with me here tonight, 7.224, obviously LSB. Uh, let's see, I've got the 706 Mark II G, Mark II, not the Mark II G. Is there a big difference? No, not really. I believe um, the only difference is that the G is for 70 centimeters, I think. Uh, let me double check that and make sure I'm not crazy. I'm pretty sure the G was for putting in 70 centimeter. Uh, let's see here, here we go. Here's the original. We got 706 Mark II, HF plus six meters, 100 watts, 20 watts on two meters. Yep, so the Mark II G adds in 70 centimeter and I think it also ups your power overall because it says 20 watts on two meters for the 706 Mark II. I think you get a full 50 watts on two meters for the Mark II G. And I think it did either 35 or 40 watts on the 70 centimeters. So a slight power bump on the two meter side and you get 70 centimeter added in uh, with the G version. Really Andy, I did not know that. Is it a special as in like they're gonna bring it back with a special edition radio and, and bring it back to the market? All right, so 7.224, I'm gonna call it CQ here. CQ40, CQ40. Yeah. I want better SWR than that. We're a little 1.8 to 1. We can do better than that. So we're moving to 223.75, 7.223.75 if you want to hop on. A CQ40, CQ40, calling CQ, calling CQ, CQ, CQ40 meters, CQ40 meters, calling CQ40, CQ40. This is Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie Stroke Alpha Golf, calling CQ40 meters and standing by. I might hear somebody out there. That's good news, Andy. I mean, I'm, a, I'm really intrigued with the 9700. I think I'm probably gonna be a buyer. And then, uh, man, I'm gonna be hitting both of them right after, one after the next. Icon's knocking out of the park as far as I'm concerned. Um, because again, if they're bringing that back or something like it, that'd be an awesome radio. Uh, CQ40, CQ40, calling CQ, CQ, CQ40 meters, CQ40 meters. This is Kilo Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie Stroke Alpha Golf calling CQ40 and standing by. Now let's put this on record here. One of the cool things you can do with the 7300 is you can actually record your audio to an SD card and I can just hit a button and play it. If you're really into contesting, that becomes a huge, huge thing for you, but it really is handy whenever. So I'm gonna go into recording mode. Go to a slot here and say CQ40, CQ40, calling CQ, CQ, CQ40, CQ40, CQ40 meters, CQ40 meters. This is Kilo Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie Stroke Alpha Golf calling CQ40 meters, CQ40 meters from Kilo Zero Lima Whiskey Charlie Stroke Alpha Golf, QRZ. Now, all I have to do is push the button and it will just play that final for me over the air, which is great. So I just go here and now I'm transmitting and I can monitor that and listen actually. CQ40 meters, CQ40 meters, 
This is Kilo. Isn't that nice? So I don't just sit there and burn my voice out when I'm contesting. I can just play the file right off the SD card here in the radio. It's really neat. Alright, so no response yet. Net controller of the South Indian Net. Control the net name every morning. Yeah, I said, uh, so what is your frequency for that net? I see you're from 130 to 230 UTC, uh, but what's the frequency? I'll definitely try to tune in. You know, conditions are pretty bad, but... Andy, nice. I said, I do not have a pre-order in yet, but uh, I'm waiting for them to finally say they're hitting the shores. I know we're waiting on approval, um, but I'm impatiently waiting for that to happen. Again, if you want to jump on 40 meters with me, I'm on 7223.75. Someone's right above us. Still no answer, but I only have a 60-foot N-fed wire, so it's not exactly the best for 40 meters. It does okay, especially considering it's only about 30 feet off the ground. It's kind of a cloud burner. How do I learn how to use the 7300? Freak is 7050. Thank you so much. I will definitely try to tune in, man, and see if I can hear you. But I said conditions are pretty terrible. Especially for my antenna, it's not great. Um, there's a lot of great YouTube videos, Ken, out there for the 7300. It's pretty intuitive, I will say. Um, yeah, thanks, Gino. Thanks for popping in here. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of great YouTube videos, Ken, man. Um, I'm trying to think of the ones that have been most helpful. Probably K0PIR in South Dakota. He's made a lot of really good videos. But really, I'll tell you, it's pretty intuitive. I mean, there are some finer menus you've got to figure out that are, uh, especially when you're connecting your ICOM 7300 to a computer, um, that are a little bit like tricky. There's a lot of deep menus. But it's pretty super simple. Like, it's very touchscreen oriented. Um, but yeah, definitely check out K0PIR. He's got a lot of great videos on his. Almost sounds like DX. Yeah, you're not talking in English though. Probably out of Mexico? Or Central or South America? Yep, K0PIR, you got it right. Let me just pop it in here to Google as well and take a look. Yeah, if you go to his website, uh, K0PIR.us, he's got a website too. And I think he's got a whole dedicated section of the 7300 on here. He calls it 7300 Specs. Um, that's a good starting place. He's got some of his videos in there. But yeah, he's also got a YouTube channel, so check him out on YouTube. It is K0PIR. I think his actual channel name, from what it looks like, is Ham Radio with K0PIR, from the looks of it here. We'll take a look here at the playlists. And yeah, he's got ICOM 7000 videos, 
7610, the 7300. He's got 57 videos on the 7300. So again, uh, and he's always on DMR too. I've heard him on DMR a ton. So check it out. The channel again is Ham Radio with K0PIR. And again, he's got 57 videos dedicated to the 7300. So he is a great resource uh, to look at. Just trying to find somebody out there. The light's just killer though. I'm gonna turn the light down. It's gonna to be tougher to see me, but we're gonna get better on the receive end here. Let me turn this off. It's gonna get really dark in here. I mean, again, it makes a massive difference. Massive. There we go. That doesn't look half bad though. Now we've got a quiet scope, folks. At least as quiet as it can be in the city. There are those stations south of the border. They're on 7225. <laughs> Yeah, conditions aren't super awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm on 40 meters right now. Here's that net 7185. Kilo Echo 4, Hotel Zulu from Kilo Zero, Lima, Whiskey Charlie, Stroke, Alpha Gulf. How copy? It says I'm way down in the noise. And then uh, 84 VJ there. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, Kilo Echo 4 Hotel Zulu from Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie Stroke Alpha Golf. Uh, Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie Stroke Alpha Golf. Over. Yeah, too low. But alright, uh, 84 BJ. Let me give you a frequency here. Let me find a free one. Say hi. Oh, hi. Are you live? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Alright, so uh, let's try 7191. 7191. That's where I'm sitting right now. What do you got there? A present. From who? John. Oh. I thought you opened it already. Mm -hmm. well, just hold on. I'll come downstairs in a bit. We're gonna... I'm right now. I'm okay. Alright, so 7191. I can hear you. Very light. Uh, alpha 
Echo 4, Victoria Juliet. This is Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie Stroke Alpha Golf. I could have swore I heard you in there. Alpha Echo 4, Victoria Juliet from Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, Stroke Alpha Golf. And we're back up and running. Uh, Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, Stroke Alpha Golf, uh, 7191. Yep, I got you now. You came up there a little bit. AE4VJ from K0 LWC, Stroke AG. You came up there for a second. Uh, AE4VJ from K0LWC, stroke AG. Yeah, I got you on YouTube, but... I can hear you. You're coming through. Yeah, but I'm gonna quite make it, I don't think. Main conditions are not in our favor. AE4VJ. All right, uh, well, I appreciate you trying. This is Kilo Zero, Lima Whiskey Charlie, Stroke Alpha Golf. Yeah, it's, uh, it's rough out there. Thanks for hopping on, though. I said you were probably in there a solid S5. I don't know what you did when you first jumped on to compare to just now, but you came up. Um, but yeah, conditions are not good. Again, my antenna on 40 is not great. Um, it's only 30 feet off the ground, so it's, it's not the best antenna for 40, uh, to say the least. Let's see, and you are in South Carolina, so yeah, you're a ways away. Although it looks like you got yourself a nice antenna there, uh, Roger, because uh, I hope to have a setup like that one day. I mean, it looks like it being probably for, that could cover down to 40 by its size. I'm not sure what it is exactly. Well, thank you for everybody that jumped in and watched tonight. Again, if you didn't see this, this is pretty awesome and cool. Again, a little sneak peek. This is my uh, QSL card binder that I created for myself. I know it's hard to see, but I'm starting to rock my QSL cards in here, put them into the book so I can kind of put them on display, show people, share them with others uh, when I'm talking about ham radio. So this is really, really neat. I'll probably do a video on this coming up. I know it's tough to see here in the dark. Um, but again, thanks so much for joining in, hanging out for 30 minutes live. Um, and so, again, I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you uh, to Roger out there in South Carolina for trying to make contact. Um, what's up to Ken and Gino and Dan and everybody else that came in to say hi and was in the chat. Uh, we'll do this more often for sure. And some more videos coming your way. So thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. 73, um, and I'll catch you on the bands. Uh, have a great rest of your Tuesday night, guys. 73.